The last kind of chart I want to show you in exploration is actually the simplest and truthfully is often the most useful. It's just a bar chart. And all that does is it shows you the number of cases in a category. Now for this example, I'm going to go back to the bugs data. And this time I'm only going to be focusing on the gender region and education variables. Those are the categorical or nominal ones. And I have frequencies for each of those over here. First, I have the frequencies for each variable without breaking them down. So I have the number of female and male respondents, the frequencies for region where most of the people are from North America, and the frequencies for education. I'm going to click on this analysis to bring up the menu. And here you can see how those three got put over here, I turned off all the statistics, I turned on frequency table, that's how I got that. And now I'm going to do just one little click here, I'm going to come and click bar chart. And you'll see that Jamovi knows to do that automatically when you have nominal that is categorical or ordinal variables. And that's what I have here. So I can click that. And then it's going to produce the bar charts directly below the tables that I already have. You can see that it says plot now. And then it's easy to see we have about twice as many women as men. Then we have an awful lot of people from North America in this particular sample, and that the education is spread around in kind of a peculiar way. But this is a good way of looking at a categorical variable, it's so much easier to get them from a bars, and especially from bars, because all they require is a relative linear judgment as opposed to a pie chart. Jamovi doesn't even do pie charts, that's because they're often harder to read. So I'm going to close that one. And then I'm going to come down to where I have the tables here. This is where I've broken it down by gender. So let me click on this one. And you can see, I'm getting a descriptive analysis of education split by gender. And that's why we have education down the side here. And we have gender across the top, and I've turned off all the statistics, I have the frequency table on. And now I do bar plot. And what this is going to do is give a paired bar plot or grouped bar plot where it, it puts them together for each group. I'm going to close this window here and then move this over a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And now what we have are our six different levels of education from advanced to some again, these are in alphabetical order, there's a natural order to these things where more education should be further to the right and less education should be further to the left. But we also have our gender indicated by the colors. So for instance, we have the reddish orange for female in sort of a teal color for male. And from this it's easy to see that we have a lot more women in each category with the exception of partial over here where it's just a couple of people in each in college. But the other ones have about the two to one ratio that we have overall. And so a bar chart and a grouped bar chart is really a simple way of getting insight from a categorical or nominal variable. Again, often the easiest, the simplest kind of chart, and really can be the most informative when you're trying to get some quick insights from your data.